Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Today's lesson is going to be on how to use the AB transitions. AB transitions are SWF files, and there are a pair per transition. There's one piece that's a start and one piece that's an end. And the way it works is that you're going to put the start of the transition at the end of the scene. And then when you put in your next scene, you put the end of the transition. So because you're transitioning from the current scene to the next scene. So you start the transition on the current scene and then you end the transition on the new upcoming scene. So let me show you how that works. Um, just make this real quick. Now create a new scene. Okay, so let's just go get one of my slides here. Come on, cutie. Uh, let's bring you in. Okay. Now that's the first slide, all right? So let's just add um, a sketch item just to be adding another item. So you can see that multiple actions can happen. You can continue to add to the scene to your heart's content. Okay, so now that I have Lisa in this graphic, I wanna transition from this scene to my next one. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, go to Flash Animation, <clears throat> and I don't know why I might always choke up when I'm doing these videos. And then let me go to the SWF folder into here. Remember, see the, here are the transition in pairs. So since this is my first scene and I'm at the end of it and I want to transition to a new scene, I click on the start of the pair. See, the, there's one, two, three, there's pairs. This is the start of it. This goes on the end of the first scene and this end goes on the beginning of the second scene. I know, yeah, but see the transition is starting and then it's ending, but it's starting at the end of the first and ending at the beginning of the second. Okay, so we have to start now bring that in I'm not gonna sketch it and then we're gonna scale it to full screen okay so let's close the scene the canvas and see that's the first part so when the scene plays there's Lisa and she does her thing change the text make her say whatever you want to say okay now that she's done then we have our drawing that's going to draw and then we have the transition now that's the first part Okay, so when this will be done on the second scene, then the new information would be there. So let's create the next scene. Now, what you're gonna notice, okay, first let me not get ahead of myself. Okay, now we create the new scene. The first thing you need to do here is put the end of the transition on this scene. Okay, so we started off with the start, now that we're beginning the second scene, we want to put the end on there. The end goes as the first item on your subsequent scene. So now you have these three. This line break right here means this is the end of this scene, the beginning of this scene. And in the beginning of this scene, we have the transition come in. And then just I'm just going to sketch the clock, you know, just to show that we're into a new scene. Okay, now we need to close the canvas, and if we run it as is, it'll transition from this colored scene to white. And really, you want to go uh, to a video or some other uh, image. So I'm just going to stick an image in here just for now. Now, when I render this scene, see, you see the end of the transition, and then now you have a background, and there's the clock. So if we preview this, there's Lisa and uh, she delivers her message. Then we have a chance to draw a chart showing that things are going up. Then the transition happens and we're into the next scene. See how smooth that was? Now, what you will notice sometimes is that if you're transitioning to a scene that has a video in the background, then you would get a message that says buffering assets. But don't worry, because that is just something that happens here in the preview, because when you're into the video, you don't have that problem. So let me go in here to explain the other stuff. 
find a video and just pick something, anything. Okay, so there's that video. So now what happens is when you render this scene, the end of the transition happens and then you see this video going and then now you have your clock. So remember, this scene here is where the transition begins. This is the first scene. Everything is progressing the way you want it based upon how you've built it. We have our drawing there. Everything is going up. Now the transition happens. And then this is the end of the first scene. Okay. Here is the second scene. And this is how it looks. There's a transition. And now you have the new object and the new video running behind it. So now we're going to preview this. And you'll notice the message I mentioned. Okay. So here's Lisa delivering her message as usual. Now we have the chart that's going to draw showing that things are in fact going up. Then transition happens. Boom. See the buffering assets? You don't get that when you render the video out, but that only happens when you have video. Because you notice before when I did it, it just went straight across with no issue. And that's really not an issue, just a warning. Because when you do render it out, you do not have that problem. Now, just say that, okay, I'm done with this video. I've drawn the clock. Now I want to transition to something else. So I can click on this frame, open the canvas. Remember, now this is scene two, but it is our current scene, right? We want to transition from here to another scene. So if we're going to do that. We're going to have to get the start of another transition. So let's go into here in number two. So we're using transition two. This is the scene we're working on. We're trying to uh, transition out of this scene. So that's the start. Bring that in. And you always want to make it full screen. So scale full screen. Okay, so now this scene has a transition. That's the start transition, but it's on the end of the first scene. So now we create a new scene. And the first thing you want to do in this scene is put the ending transition so it goes from this one to the one we are we're at right now and so that will be the end so when i close this up i think i picked the wrong one yep i did so i can just delete this and create my new scene again because it deleted it since I took the item off and add the proper one the, the end there okay see that's the right end okay so I'm gonna come out here scale full screen and then let me just add a sketch image just so you can see there's some other additional actions happening so if we render this scene, ending of transition, and now the monitor. But see the white background? So in order to prevent that, you would either put a gallery image or a video. So let's just pick another video. And move down the list a little bit. I like this one right here. All right, so the transition is going to happen. And then you see the video, see? And your object is drawn. So this scene plays, transition starts here, ends here. The rest of this scene plays. Another transition starts here, ends here, and on and on. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna render this out so you can see what the end result is and see how smooth the transition happens. So hold on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the completed video. So now you can see how the transitions are nice and smooth. And there is Lisa with her general message. Here it goes. We have the chart coming up once again. And then the transition. Nice and smooth. No delays. All right, that was the first one. And there is the second one. See, so it, it works really well. I mean, you just have to make sure you put them in the right place. They're SWFs and uh, it works fine. So hopefully that'll get you going and you'll have plenty more ideas. Believe me. 
I've come up with a bunch. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. 